where Nagarjuna had two truths, with a clear hierarchy between them. Chantai claims the two truths are exactly equivalent in value, equally ultimate, identical in content, and ultimately synonymous, and that this constitutes the third truth. In fact, they are not two separate realms or claims at all, but two alternate restatements of the same fact, namely conditioned co-arising itself. Provisional positing implies emptiness, and vice versa. This means the differentiations between things, their conventional designations, as well as any crazy philosophical or religious theory or personal illusion about them, are just as ultimately true and non-true as their emptiness or their beyond-conceptualization suchness and also that both of these aspects are just as ultimate as the fact that these two aspects are simply aspects of one another. This means that even the center is not more ultimate than the other two. To indicate any of the three is to indicate all three. They are three ways of saying the same thing. Any of the three, taken alone, already says all there is to say about the other two, and entails all the functions of the other two. Each of the three truths is a way of talking about the fact that all determinate entities are dependently co-arisen. That is, each determination necessarily appears in experience together with other such determinations, upon which it depends for its existence. This observation is developed into the assertion of the emptiness, provisional positing, and centrality of each entity. We may restate this by noting that all coherences are only locally coherent. It is what it is only because the horizon of relevant contexts has been arbitrarily limited. But the fact that all being is necessarily contextualized means that any such limit is ultimately arbitrary, and there are more relevant contexts that can be brought to bear in every case. Hence, each coherence is intelligible as such and such only when all the relevant contexts are not taken into account. Any entity's being determinately, thus and so, is dependent on its being experienced within a limited horizon of relevance. It is coherent as this, rather than something else, only locally. Provisional positing means that all coherences are merely local coherences. Emptiness, on this interpretation, means that all local coherences are globally incoherent. What is determinate when viewed in some particular local context turns out to be ambiguous, indeterminate, lacking any definitive self-nature when all relevant contexts are taken into account. It is ontologically ambiguous, not merely epistemologically ambiguous. The center signifies that these two are merely alternate statements of the same fact which necessarily appears in these two contrasted ways. We may rename it the inner subsumption of coherence and incoherence, or of determinateness and indeterminateness. It is the center between these two extremes, coherence and incoherence. The center signifies that that determinateness, thought through to the end, turns out to be ambiguity and vice versa. Where this determination ends is its negation. But if there is no way to distinguish the determination from its negation, the determination is as present where it is supposedly present as where it is supposedly absent. It is omnipresent, unconditional, absolute. Therefore, determinateness is a synonym for ambiguity, and either further is a synonym for the center itself. Any of these always signifies all three aspects, determinateness, ambiguity, and absoluteness.